Thanks for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe. Do you think Putin is clearing shop? I know what I would do to survive, especially if my army was as bad as this one. It's been a week since Yevgeny Prigozhin's armed rebellion against Moscow erupted and slowly died a limp pathetic death. Despite surviving the whole affair, it has left Vladimir Putin's grip on power in the toilet, a toilet no doubt stolen from Ukraine. Did Prigozhin really stop the march because he feared bloodshed on the streets of Moscow? I find this hard to believe. I mean they had already shot down a significant number of Russian air assets by that point and the column had been bombed with Wagner soldiers killed. The complete lack of real terms opposition would have emboldened the mercenaries and their leader and no doubt soldiers siding with them would have made the job even easier. He wouldn't have been able to take over military facilities in the southern city of Rostov-on-Don so easily on June 24 and mount his rapid march toward Moscow without collusion with some members of the military brass. It's this collusion that no doubt has Putin squirming in his seat. So why did Prigo pull out so soon? Well, we will probably never know for sure. Here are two possible scenarios, what started as a protest quickly snowballed into something he wasn't prepared for, the possibility of taking power. When it became clear that Putin wouldn't budge in throwing out Shoigu and Gerasimov, Prigozhin was forced into smashing him to pieces in a bloody civil war and assuming power or looking for an exit strategy. The other option, unconfirmed, was that the safety of his daughter was threatened. As someone who is completely convinced that Vladimir Putin is in fact a complete dictator, I wouldn't be surprised if both are true. Before I continue, I would never try to turn Prigozhin into some kind of hero, the man has a dark soul of that I have no doubt. However, he appeared to be the only one in the Russian hierarchy publicly saying things with a degree of truthfulness. Therefore, at least in my eyes, he carries a modicum of credibility unlike Putler. So where is he? A private jet linked to Prigozhin landed in the Belarusian capital, Minsk, on Wednesday morning. And Alexander Lukashenko, president of Belarus and a Putin ally, did say this week Prigozhin is in the country. However, his exact whereabouts are likely to remain unclear, but if I was him and with a supposed FSB hit out on me, I would be living in the middle of my soldiers and I would be making sure they are well paid. Which is going to be tough, given that the state has already gone after Prigozhin in a big way, closing his media empire and his famous troll farm. State channels have also started a massive smear campaign, downplaying the Wagner success at Bakhmut and Putin, in a stunning revelation declared that the government poured billions of dollars into Wagner, a statement that followed his previous denials of any link between the state and the mercenary group. Which of course also raises the question of how Putin effectively paid for a coup to topple himself. But it's not just the Wagner chief that is playing hide and go seek. A number of key figures are still unaccounted for and with all the rumors swirling about the support he managed to achieve, I am sure Putin is climbing the walls to make sure that no one ever threatens him again. General Surovikin was a clear fan of Prigozhin's and their mutual admiration was palpable, a true bromance. Regarded as a Soviet hero for his service in Afghanistan, Surovikin is now at the center of questions over his whereabouts and most importantly his allegiance after the failed Wagner coup. General Armageddon as he is known, was serving as deputy commander of Russian forces in Ukraine at the time. As the coup unfolded, he called out to Wagner's fighters telling them to return to base and obey Vladimir Putin. Despite this, a U.S. intelligence briefing indicated that he had prior knowledge of the coup and this bit of information played badly with Putin who appears to have had him detained. Russian authorities are now checking to see if he was complicit, although he could make a nice fall guy to explain the lack of opposition to the coup. His location is unknown, but probably involves a basement somewhere and a meat hook. That's some fall from grace for a man who once commanded all Russian forces in Ukraine. Then of course there's Putin's lapdog, Dmitry Medvedev, the former Russian president has been among the most vocal supporters of the war in Ukraine, regularly making bold threats against the West. During the Wagner march on Moscow, Medvedev warned of the risk of nuclear weapons falling into the mercenary group's hands. The history of mankind hasn't yet seen the largest arsenal of nuclear weapons under control by bandits, he said. Such a crisis will not be limited by just one country's borders, the world will be put on the brink of destruction. 
Medvedev is believed to have fled to Oman in the aftermath of the crisis, his backbone undoubtedly shattered by the Wagner rush. I would think that Putin took this fleeing in a rather bad light and judged him to have been disloyal. Remember Putin is a tyrant who is currently feeling unloved so prone to sudden irrational outbursts. He has not posted publicly on his telegram for several days. In his last post, on Saturday, June 24, he said the most important thing was to defeat the external and internal enemy. Needless to say, no one knows where he is but perhaps, he has entered the Russian embassy like Khashoggi entered the Saudi Arabian one and will leave in a similar way. Unlike Khashoggi, I highly doubt the world will mourn his passing. Either way shadowy moves and countermoves are playing out behind the walls of the Kremlin, and no one is safe. Putin will continue to crack down more and more as his armies are defeated and the walls start to close in on him. I highly doubt he will feel safe with Wagner in Belarus and still within striking distance to Moscow. Can you imagine if Russia loses Bakhmut? This whole situation could kick off again.